What's going on, guys? Way from Revolution here with my buddy Pierre Jacques, the boss of Debethune, and we're wearing sunglasses because it's our first appointment of Geneva Watch Days. How are you, brother? I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, you're too shiny, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I took, I took a little, to, yeah, I took a little to stroll from the beautiful sunlight yeah. uh, down from my ex apartment. Nah, which okay. <laughs> we're laughing yeah. because I just but found out I had to move uh, from my apartment in Geneva in very rapid uh, order. But we yeah. found a great new apartment for me. I think you change for better. I, I honestly, yeah. I do. It's a, it's a beautiful UNESCO heritage building, and mm -hmm. so all of my horological homies, if, if I, you know, you guys are coming to Geneva, you can come to my house mm -hmm. for a Negroni. I'd be very happy to welcome you. But yeah. let's talk about the watch in front of us because it's a very, very special piece. So the DB25 is one of my favorite watches. It kind of represents, I would say, like the classic side of Debethune, you know? And my favorite configuration of this watch is the perpetual calendar, right? Yes. In many ways, I guess this watch is kind of the successor to the DB15, which was the first perpetual calendar, uh, first watch with three-dimensional moon phase indicator, first watch with in-house movement, and had like an in-house balance wheel as well, which is you know super significant watch for Debethune. The DB25, to me, is almost the perfect watch. And let me show you a classic example of it. I'll give you just one second. This is your original DB25. Right? And it's Could almost be. the perfect watch. Actually, it's an amazing watch, to be fair. The only thing about this watch is it's 44 mm in diameter. And so I remember I was having a conversation with Pierre Jacques and I'm like, bro, do you think it might be possible to diminish the size of this watch? And you said, you know what? Uh, let me talk to Denny because Denny has done special commissions in the past where he's taken a DB25 and he's made it smaller. Like for example, our buddy uh, Ahmed Ashari Rahman has a 40 mm uh, DB25 yes. Starry Sky, right? Yeah. Um, so what came out is this new watch, which is the DB25 Perpetual Calendar, but now at 40 mm, correct, sir? 40 mm and uh, in uh, titanium. So it's also, I say, the, the first QP that came uh, with a titanium case. Amazing. Um, you know, in a normal production. In normal production. OK, let's take a look at this. So guys, look at that. In fact, you know what? Maybe I'll hold them next to each other, and I'll just show you the significant difference in size. I mean, 4 mm difference in size is actually quite massive, you know? Mm -hmm. yes. And it's only like a brand like Debethune that would actually make an effort to, you know, re-engineer everything, reconfigure the entire movement, the positioning within the case, the axis for the dial, so on and so forth. And for the cam and... Uh, and yeah, and even the cam has to be changed as well to create this masterpiece, which I'm now going to put on my wrist. Wow! This size is amazing. Oh my God, that's awesome. Pierre Jacques, it's my yeah. first appointment at Geneva Watch Days, and I'm already going to use what I feel is going to be my catchphrase, me undies go tight. This watch is so great that my underpants feel like they're about to explode. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. No, but guys, honestly, like, I mean, it makes such a significant difference to have this size as well. Mm -hmm. what, what I love about it is you maintain all the incredible visibility and clarity of the information on this dial as well. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm going to put this on the watch stand so our trusty camera operator, Munster, can get in really nice and tight. And just check that out. I mean, at 40 mm, that is an absolute masterpiece. Pierre Jacques, do you feel as if people want watches that are a little bit smaller in size? Uh, yes, you know, trend, uh, you know, is a, is a, it's also a cycle. So right. you go for bigger, smaller. Yes. And uh, I think that this trend is already, uh, since uh, you can feel the trend that the watch going uh, uh, downsize since uh, maybe already two years. Yeah, uh, I would say so. Uh, right, absolutely. Trend. Yeah. I think uh, everyone's kind of reverting to more classic proportions. Uh, I really applaud Debefoon for you know taking this incredible step to create this magnificent timepiece. But th thanks to you, because you was uh, really one uh, one who insists the most. <laughs> say, Pierre, please, I really want something uh, 40 mm. Can you make it? for me, make something <laughs> for me, and you know, after repeating, after a couple you're of chicken. years of uh, uh, strong insistence, yes. uh, you're so finally kind. we did it. You're so kind. Oh, Pierre uh, Jacques is, is referring to the fact that I actually want a 40 mm um, QP mm -hmm. in the DB25, and so I was asking him for years, like, could you please do it, could you please do it, could you please do it? And he said, way we can do it, we're going to have to make more than just one to amortize the cost of the <laughs> development, which I feel yeah. is fair. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, uh, it's so wonderful to see this in reality. Um, it is just an absolutely magnificent watch to behold. And to see it on the wrist with such beautiful proportions, so comfortable, I mean, it's just truly incredible. Yeah. And it's also a completely new uh, combination uh, for the dial, so really also something uh, uh, in terms of aesthetic. Yeah. You, know, you look also the rayon and the numbers, you know, we had also... Can I take a look at the old one, just in comparison? <coughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, it's, I mean, if you guys look at these two watches side by side, you can see there's it's such a significant difference, you know, in terms of size, in terms of style. Wow. I mean, bravo. That's, that's phenomenal. All right, that's Thank truly you. phenomenal. Thank you, Wade. So I, I guess my work is done. I can leave Geneva watch days now. I'm, go. Oh, I'm sure that uh, you're going to have uh, many uh, other surprises because uh, even if you start with the, you know. You're going to say uh, the, the best, best. combined. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. sure you will have a, a lot of uh, good surprises. Totally. Uh, and uh, uh, independent watchmaker is still very uh, uh, productive, uh, imaginative, and creative. So no doubt. No, no doubt that you, you would have a, Thanks, man. a good way. Thank you, sir. And thank you for sharing this with me. And also, uh, guys, if you're in Geneva, um, we're going to be premiering our film, Seeking mm -hmm. Perfect, on September 1st, right? Mm -hmm. Which is a film about Deba Thune, uh, Denis Flagellet, and Pierre Jacques appear in it. Are actually the focus of, of the film. Um, and, and I think it was a, a pretty good project. What do you think? Yes, an uh, uh, amazing project and uh, very well uh, made, too. So uh, you, Todd, and all the team uh, yes. were very sharp. And uh, I think uh, this movie, uh, would be a, a, a milestone for the Bethune, really help people to understand um, the sense of the Denis pleasure of work and uh, what you are really doing in the factory. So yeah. thank you for uh, bringing this uh, uh, under the light. It was a pleasure and a shout out to my buddy Todd Cyril who uh, initiated that project and to um, our director Dario and to our producer Gilles. So peace guys, thank you very much for joining me. DB Thune, DB25, Quantum Perpetual, three-dimensional moon phase indicator, 40 mm. It just doesn't get better than that. Me undies, grow tight. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thanks, brother. Thank you.